Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear listeners. From wherever you have tuned in to this channel all over the world, welcome to Verdict TV. The news updates. Finally, Presidential Tribunal Judge resigns, makes shocking confession. See what is about to happen in tribunal over this dirty confession. Do welcome to those news once again. And thank you for tuning in to this channel. But please do well to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please carefully listen to the end. The presidential tribunal is about to lose justice. Bolo Kurumo M. Ugo, who is among the five panel that were to rule on the election petitions filed by Peter Obi of Labour Party and Abubakar Atikur of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. We call that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's victory is being challenged at tribunal courts by his oppositions, giving some reasons why Tinubu should be disqualified. Few days ago, President Tinubu issued a threat to tribunal justice, warning them that removing him from president will bring chaos and anarchy to Nigeria. His statements and warning has led to many controversial comments by different Nigerians who see it as, as threats to the panels of the tribunal courts. Surprising, Justice Ugo tendered his resignation over his assertions that he was asked to rule in favor of one candidate. According to news on Twitter, just in, Justice Ugo resigns, citing demands to kneecap democracy, says, siding with Tinumbu would mean the death of Nigerians' democracy. In a shocking and unusual move, Nigerian Justice Ugo has resigned from the bench citing demands from the executive branch that it believes would destroy the country's democracy. In a statement released, Justice Ugo said that siding with the government on this matter would be the death of Nigerians' democracy and that he could not in good conscience remain silent. His resignation has sent shock waves through the country. It has also raised serious questions about the state of Nigerians' democratic institutions. According to Justice Ugo's statement, it was asked to cripple the independence of the judiciary by ruling in favor of a certain political candidate, whom it did not name but is widely believed to be Bolatinumbu. Furthermore, it was asked to suppress evidence and dismiss cases that could have an impact on the election. Justice Ugo's resignation has caused a serious uproar and a setback to the activities of the presidential election petition courts. It is certain that soon Nigerians will start to express their reactions. So stay tuned to that. The precision that is going on in the petition tri presidential tribunal whereby the five judges there's a five five led judges who are in charge of the petitions that were filed by the opposition parties so recently one of the judges had to resign stating that he cannot continue because they are actually telling him to side one person it should rule in the favor of one candidate. Although the name of the candidate was not said by the judge, but Nigerians believe that it would be Bola Tinumbu that who else? Because he is the only one that is saying that if he's been dismissed, there's going to be anarchy and chaos in the country giving out threats. And the judge said he does not want the democracy of Nigeria to, to, to die. That if he agrees to this, it will be the death of Nigerians' democracy. 
and he could not in good conscience remain silent so it is better for him to resign and just leave the petitions instead of giving an order that we actually kill nigerians democracy so he said that he was asked to cripple the independence of judiciary by ruling in favor of a certain particular candidate whom he did not name so he wants his hands to be cleaned from every other every judgment that the presidential tribunal will be given he does not want to involve himself because he cannot involve himself and later on he's going to be having guilt or conscience these are the kind of judges nigerians need and not those ones who whereby they give them a lot of funds and they forget what they have been doing and they give judgment that is against the democracy we have come to the end of the news what's your view to what justice ugo did is it good the way he resigned please share your view in the comment section thank you